can just not exist on the uh, mm -hmm. payroll anymore. Yet another wild pool party creating a neighborhood nightmare. That's right. Fox 5 Sierra Fox is in Brandywine tonight after mm. looking into what happened. Robert. Well, it's nice and quiet here on Inheritance Drive in Brandywine, Maryland, but over the weekend, it was a totally different scene. And that's exactly why neighbors are upset because there was a noisy, massive pool party right behind me that disrupted their peace. So now they're speaking out, but not showing their face on camera in fear of retaliation. An out of control pool party in Brandywine, Maryland caught on cell phone video. You can see hundreds of young adults, most in swimwear, coming and going from the wild scene. Most in black skin. <laughs> I just want to get home. And when that neighbor finally got home, <laughs> there was a rowdy crowd on her property. They were urinating in our yard, and um, another neighbor told me they saw them urinating in their yard. And that's not all. It was very chaotic vulgarness, shouting, fight, you know, arguing, drinking, smoking. And then when we got up the next vulgarness, shouting. <laughs> they're just fucking gross, dude. Like they're fucking like rats. They're villains, bro. They're villains. Damn. It's crazy next morning there's trash in all of our yards and there was broken bottles and we had to clean all that up fox 5 discovered the home where the party happened is offering up their pool for rental on the website swimply they call it inheritance paradise hosted by michael for 60 dollars per hour the listing reveals wow. only 50 guests are allowed in part you not even pricing sons out 60 <laughs> bucks an hour yeah, any shit. yeah that's a good point is a that's a sun hour. price point the yeah, exactly. <laughs> God damn, we could we could get the pool and still get a couple bottles and still get a hotel room and shit. Yeah, you get the pool. Yeah, this is like the Spirit Airlines of pools. I'm telling yeah, you, man, you can get all but the weed. In, but it's in a a great neighborhood. Like not the good neighbor. It's in a great neighborhood. Yeah, they had themselves a time to, uh, this night. That's crazy. They call it Inheritance Paradise, hosted by Michael for $60 per hour. The listing reveals only 50 guests are allowed and parking is oh, available. For yeah, up to right. 40 yeah, right. Nine cars. However, residents say there are a lot more than that. I would have to estimate over 250 up to 400 Man. cars. Um, and so if each of these cars have two or four. 250 to 400 cars and no one got killed. Salute to these some people. Man. Yeah, that's like a. No Dude, one got No killed. one drowned. That's the most impressive part. <laughs> Nobody drowned. Nope. I would. I would. I guarantee nobody actually got in the pool, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's right. Because I don't think there's Maybe 250 there sons in the country party? that can swim. Know. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they could have gotten pushed in the pool. I don't know who they're introducing into the neighborhood. I don't know what this might represent for myself, my safety, the safety of my neighbors. This is a single street, but it's like a little community to all of us here. The Charles County Sheriff's Office says a total of four officers responded to assist with traffic control. Deputies were Man, called after the good. security company hired for the pool Some party baddies. needed help escorting people out. One party goer ended up being arrested and charged oh, yeah, for I really loved it. This is your, it was surreal. This is Craig. It was surreal. I saw blue lights flashing out in front of my home for almost three hours, and this crowd could turn and it could become more like a riot. Another flyer is being promoted on social media saying melanin no, pool party shit. part two. Oh shit, the melanin pool party. Somebody definitely getting shot at that. Part I two. <laughs> I would have told them, bro, what's up, bro? You trying to slide? The melanin pool party. Think about you some white family and shit, and you see that flyer like lying on the ground in your fucking driveway and shit next to like a pack of empty cigarellos and some blunt guts. You pick it up and shit and see that they're doing it again next week. You're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> grand opening, grand closing. 
who is scheduled for Saturday, June 22nd, potentially in the same location. And the people who live in this community have a message for whoever is hosting that event. Be a neighbor. Think oh, about all of the people shit. who live around Oh, you my God. Doing that. <laughs> she said, think about, she said, think about, like, everybody else. That's what she, she said. said. Think. Think is already too much. I told you, I told you, new guys, DNA, man. Forgot. Be, be considerate, uh, Harambis, please. <laughs> Shout out to Genetic Freak, man. He says, salute. I, have you seen Johnny Mad Dog yet? It's cinematic proof that you can't fix this. I'm going to have to check that out. Johnny Mad Dog. Yeah, what, what is that? I've never heard of that. Yeah, I've never heard of that either, man. Um, I'm gonna have to, and I would have that. Would, that would be a thing I would have heard of. So I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's a film. Uh, African team leads a band of young fighters on a bloody rampage through local villages. Okay, it's a movie. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah. Okay, child soldiers in Africa on the street. They have a beautiful home and a pool. I want them to enjoy it, but what? you know, they're potentially putting all of us at risk and they created a situation. I don't appreciate what happened. I don't want there to be crime. I don't want there to be fights. We're not used to that here. And it's one thing to have a party, Where but are these it in your yard. Now listen to this. Charles County tells me their zoning inspection team is preparing a notice Charles County. So this is the richest black county in the country. Wow. This is the this is the one where all the people from PG um fled from. Man, this the, the, prob the problem is poverty, man. You know. Yeah. It's just it's, it's an economic for this property problem. in question, I knocked on their door to give the homeowners the opportunity to share their side of the story, but they just told me to get off their property. Of course, Fox 5 will stay ahead and let you know what happens. The sons is like, man, get the fuck out of here. The white people being all nice and meaningful and trying to fucking work together and shit. Uh, let's see another one. This video shows just part of what happened. This is Potomac, Maryland. This this is another one. Yeah, this one right here. This is Housewives of Potomac. This is the one where they have that show Housewives of Potomac, where all those rich black people. Live. I mean, not rich black people, but rich people live. I mean, this is Potomac is the richest historically, like the it suburb of DC. This video shows just part of what happened at the mansion party in Potomac Memorial Day weekend. Cars parked on the lawn, people walking to the house, big buses dropping off people for the party, advertised oh, on social geez. media by a promoter as a birthday bash. No. Yo, the, and these people out here, they are, they make brand, like they would look at the people in Brandywine in that last neighborhood. They would look at those people like we would look at people who live in the projects. They wouldn't even go to brand new one. Yeah, exactly. I've lived in, I mean, I lived, I've gone to a party in um, Potomac before. And like literally like a pool party too. Like Elite, elite people. You know, uh, it was a black family's home too. It was a black family's home. And we, I had to use the bathroom, right? So um, me and my homeboy, we 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 um, was looking for a bathroom and shit, and oh. we were in their house, right? And you know how niggas is dropped, it. you know <laughs> niggas is foul, man. We just criminals and shit, right? We start <laughs> looking around and shit. God damn. Right. Yeah, it doesn't have to be on your mind. Oh, you terrible. Let man. me go. Let me go ahead and lick on the way to the bathroom. Hell yeah, man. Help. You know how it is, man. You know how niggas are. Niggas are terrible. Okay. I'm not trying to act like it's other people, man. This was like oh, oh four or five. I want to say. So this was like long. This is 20 years ago. Like this wasn't like just the other day or something like that. Hey, um, you think you think that landscape? 
you think they had their lawn landscaped out that way? Where they were parking their cars on their grass? Oh, yeah. Those type of people, the guys come through with the same shit. They cut the grass on the um the medians on the highway. <laughs> they cut the grass, them long ass lawn bowls with the big extension on the side. Yeah, they everybody, nobody out in, the, in in Potomac cuts their own grass. Nobody. But anyway, like so, we 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 went in the house. They had all types of like art. I'm talking about like expensive art. Had like a library in there, like a literal library. They didn't have like a study. They had like a library. Then they had like all these rooms, and all the rooms were like different themed and all that shit. And it was like, yo, we couldn't find nothing like really that could fit in our pockets and shit. You know what I'm saying? So we ended up just smoking the J in there, fucking <laughs> crib and shit. Smoking out the crib and shit. And just looking around and shit, like marveling at the shit. But it was like, yo, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. That shit, that I, I haven't that experience let me know because I'd always heard of Potomac. It's as advertised. I will say that it's as advertised. Ties on social media by a promoter as a birthday bash. Some neighbors say as the night went on, they got scared. And there had to be at least 10, 15, 20 buses coming, pulling in. There were shuttle buses, there were vans. People were just pouring out. I can't be. Ray Wall, man. Didn't you just have a baby, man? Yeah. Yeah, just had. You gotta let us see a picture, man. Oh, that's my Jersey dude. Yep. They're from Jersey. He's not too you. far from me, too. Yep. Yeah. He lived by uh Union Center right around there. Yeah, you gotta let us see a picture of your baby, man. Yeah, no doubt. Let's yeah, see. man. Yeah. A, new, a, new, a new a new um addition to the Oc Nation family, man. What is it, a boy or girl? It's a girl. I th I sent you a picture in your email. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. I, and when did you send it to me? Uh, a few weeks ago, maybe. Oh, okay. Send it to me again. I ain't gonna be able to. All right, yeah, I got like a thousand emails a day. I ain't going back to that shit. <laughs> salute, to, <laughs> salute to Doug Chunks, man. Salute to Doug Chunks, man. Shout out to Doug Chunks. Um. Oc Nation Hall of Famer, man. Um, coming through once again, man. Um, it's it's that's what I'm talking about. The the, the, the chunkster, man. Pause. Um, yeah, man. But it's like yo, these look at these people, right? You can tell these people play tennis and shit, and like literally every type of wine. There is, they know which kind of cheese goes with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They know every one. Like you, you could literally like blindfold them in, in a wine cellar and pull out a wine cellar and, and put the fucking wine to their nose. And then that's a 1912 Merlot Augustine from Chapelle, France, made for the light. A light green. Like they, they would know everything. These are those type of people. Yeah, these are some juice crew, like heritage Americans, right here. Yeah, these motherfuckers are. These are them people, man, in Potomac, Maryland, man, and they got to deal with this shit too. That's well, I mean, they finance these people coming over in the first place, right? So you know, it's only fair. Yeah, that's true. True indeed pulling in. There were shuttle buses, there were vans. People were just pouring out. I can't begin to tell you what a thousand people looks like on a small residential street. County officials tell News 4 the house was rented. A promoter advertised it on social media. Alcohol, food, hookah, whole party cabanas rented for as much as $2,000. We I was from D.C., man. We rolled up in uh, Hoopty, man. These, these suburban niggas, man. They got all the nice cars. Every car's a nice car. We rolled up in some bullshit. <laughs> it's incredible. Like in not in not <laughs> one of these people's minds did they ever think to themselves like, hmm, I, I wonder if the owner here would appreciate it if we had all these fucking cars on their lawn like this. 
Nah, I never think about it. Never no, think okay. about other people. Yeah, it's 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 not even it is I don't you know what I've always struggled with that, whether it's not caring or whether it's um malfeasance or you know you know ill intent. Um and I always come back to it just it doesn't cross their minds. You know, how other people, how their actions affect other people. It just doesn't. I think the majority of the time in this type of situation, this dynamic, it just doesn't cross their mind. Yeah, how I, much, agree. I agree with that. How much dollar in, uh, dollar damage you think was done to that, that landscape right there? I can tell you one thing. Tire tracks in your lawn, especially if it's wet, yo, that, like those shits, you could come back in 100 years and them shits would still be there. If you don't fucking, you know what I'm saying, do something. If you don't pour money into it to fix it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, uh, what, five, five, six hundred cars parked in your fucking lawn? Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They're fucking vermin, dude. Like, they're just like a virus. Yeah, man, that's a rough thing. <laughs> Man, um, yeah, talk about, uh, man, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, um, you go numbers only, man, uh, yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, I got one more uh, thing to say about this, uh, like, as you, you mentioned, these are real nice cars, like, which means that these aren't, like, ghetto, like, these, these aren't, PG, like, these PG County, <laughs> Like these people have more sense, have some sense. You gotta have some sense to be able to afford these cars. So many Northern VA. Yeah, these Nova. No, nah, I wouldn't even say PG County. These are Northern Virginia. Cause where where Potomac is, yeah, it's probably Montgomery County, PG County, and Northern Virginia dudes. Cause DC dudes, they got we just got a film on us, man. We like we don't never be like super clean like that. Like if we got a car like that, it's gonna be something off about it that's gonna let you know. Like it's gonna be smacked out tents, talking about like pitch black tents, or it's gonna be like a dent in that <laughs> motherfucker, or one of the goddamn tires gonna have a um a, a, a goddamn spare on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gonna just announce it like, nah, I ain't we up to DC, dude. But it, yeah. like these clearly are not like poor people pulling up on the no, lawn. No, no, no. These people, yeah. these are these are sons from PG County, Montgomery County, Charles County. But these sons still are like uh, poor blacks. They're, they're, no, they're, no, no. They're just they're just they sons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's it. They're sons of the money. They dress similar, like. For instance, like the music that DC people listen to, Go Go. These people listen to Go Go. Whatever drill rap DC people listen to, whatever drill local drill rappers, these people listen to those same drill rappers. Whatever gear, urban wear, or urban trends, or urban, you know, like uh, fashion that's hot now. These do they got the real shit. They got it in spades. You know what I'm saying? Um, they bought the shit from the store. They didn't steal it. You know what I'm saying? But they wearing the same thing son, as, 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 as the D.C. dudes. And these motherfuckers, all the difference, these motherfuckers been to the dentist and shit like, you know, recently. Yes. Or they, you know what I'm saying? They had a physical in the last three, two, three years. Nigga yeah, from D.C. They, they had a physical in fucking since he was a baby or some shit. Yeah. This, this, is, this is J.V. This is JV. That's all. Yeah, it's for the, the freshman team. Yeah. The money is not going to, like, when you say, like, the gliders have, like, a societal, like, unwritten contract, right? The money is not going to change that for the Suns. It's not going to make them right. act like gliders. Well, the contract is the contract. Because remember, when you're talking about groups, when, like, these people are going to hang with each other, they're still, if you notice, PG County is not the richest case, the richest black county. Like they they came out there and made it like a black utopia. Then they moved to Charles County and made that the black. Like they're together, they're amongst each other. So the social contract is there. And now 
you being the canvas which they're painting on does not change the social culture. You're just the canvas now. Even though this is a white neighborhood and these people have billions of dollars and these are like the some of the wealthiest people in the world or in the country here, regardless of race, they're just a canvas. And these yeah. black people the paint. And now this canvas has like 600 fucking tire marks on it. And, and if you come out there and say something, they get you on camera. Like, say she would have came out. Say this lady would have came out here, and 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 and, and started. Hey, hey, everybody! Hey, hey! They would have called her racist. They would have started filming. Look at this racist ass Karen. They winning, man. They won, man. They got you, man. <laughs> Oh, food, hookah, whole party cabanas rented for as much as $2,000. It was a powder keg ready to ignite, and we were just lucky it wasn't ignited because it could have been a disaster. Multiple sources told News 4 that people were told they could park here at the Potomac Community Center about a half a mile away from the house. Then they could catch a bus to the neighborhood. John Camp and Mindy Farber live in the neighborhood. They called the police that night, but were disappointed when they say the party wasn't shut down right away. This has to stop. And the fact that there was no interest in it, and still seems to be no interest because we called the police and they said, under investigation, what's under investigation? The party's over. They're giving us baloney. Police were called to the home on Stapleford Hall Drive twice. If I'm not mistaken, Shift 3 was out there for the same thing earlier. Large house party at the location. Montgomery County police say officers shut down the party at 10 p.m. An official says the county issued a zoning violation notice to the owner to stop because it's illegal to have commercial activity in a residential neighborhood. We hear you. We hear you here. Uh, this, is, this is not something that should ha appropriately happen in communities. They're residential for a reason. They're supposed to be quiet, they're supposed to be safe, and they're supposed to be secure. These are not the kinds of activities that should be happening. We knocked on the door, but no one answered. County officials say they learned there were plans for a second party at the home later this month. They say the owner agreed to cancel. In Potomac, Darcy Spencer, News 4. Uh, we have not been able to reach the homeowner or the promoter for comment about this, but the county is now looking at ways to prevent these types of parties in residential areas and go after the promoters. Man, and it's just starting. Someone's just Tonight, starting. Prince George's County business owners are outraged after a string of smash and grabs at a local shopping center. They say thieves.